All right, welcome back everybody to Seville Community Church of God, Bible, the Bible Beyond the Basics. We're in week two. Uh, we're going to uh, start off with a little bit of a recap from uh, what we've covered last week. Uh, last week we talked about what the Bible is. What is the Bible? Remember, it refers to 66 different books written by 40 different human authors over a 1500 year span. But it has unbelievable unity and we attribute this to God being the author. Many writers, one author, God being the writer, uh, or it being God breathed, inspiring the writers to do that. It's two divisions. There's an Old Testament, or an Old Covenant, and a New Covenant. The only thing that makes the Old Covenant old is the fact that there's a New Covenant. Uh, it's uh, about God's redeeming love of his children uh, or of his creation. That's the overarching theme with one central character, and that's Jesus Christ. Yes, even the Old Testament has one central character, and that would be Jesus Christ. I had a professor uh, say that the Old Testament is the New Testament concealed. The New Testament is the Old Testament revealed. So the Old Testament... Uh, prophesied something, and the New Testament was a fulfillment of that prophecy, Jesus Christ. Um, and we covered, um, we talked about how this is God, how God has chosen to reveal himself to us, his creation. We also covered the first two steps of that five-step process of how the Bible came to be. We talked about revelation uh, and what that is, and we talked about transmission. Remember, revelation is the act of God revealing himself and inspiring authors or writers to write down what he had to say. And then at transmission was uh, how that was preserved, how it was written down by scribes who meticulously would copy the autographs over and over and over and make several copies pre-Xerox um, pre machines. They would painstakingly do that by hand. We talked about that process a little bit. Today we're going to cover the three, the, the three remaining steps in that five-step process. That's translation, interpretation, and then a little bit of application. And we'll go ahead and dive into it. Any questions from last week where you just rubbed your head and you said, I didn't quite understand what uh, you were talking about there. Any clarification questions or anything like that? If you, if you have them, ask. If not, uh, you want to ask me afterwards, we can... Um, talk afterwards as well. Um, we're going to talk about um, first translation. Uh, and um, actually, I'm going to pause the video here because I do need I, I, uh, my whiteboard. I forgot to set up. It'll help us understand the translation process a little bit. 